Welcome to Moving On TV, guys. And today I've got an amazing messenger of light. And one of these people that are here to literally change humanity. Um, now, the name of this person I'm going to be interviewing, David Elams, uh, came to me years ago um, through another friend. Uh, I understood he was involved in some kind of yoga and mixing yoga and light work together. But I never realized that he was actually in the process of creating a whole new internet, a light internet, an internet for everyone, an internet without restrictions, without any way of um, demeaning you or controlling you, your own internet, your light internet. And I'm so excited today to be interviewing David about why 4A and I want to know what it is and I want to know exactly what he's doing. So welcome David Elans to Moving On TV. At long last we get to do the interview. So hi David, so how are you today? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. You, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. The sun's shining here in High Wycombe. Where are you at the moment? Uh, it's like in Westgate on Sea. It's like it's just like 10 minutes from Margate. Um, it's like a slightly nice area. I'm in like a little, a little cabin at the end of a garden. Um, so it's quite nice. Uh, wow. A bit isolated though, but, but it's really nice for the nature. So. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's where you live. You have your own little cabin near the sea. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, there. That sounds amazing. When the sun, when the weather, do you know the weather seems to be really, really beautiful at the moment. I get the feeling yeah. we're being looked after in lockdown again. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Last time we had lockdown, we had a lot yeah. of sunshine. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I, that's why like, I, I kind of. Lockdown, the only thing that bothers me with lockdown is the gyms closing. That's why I'm following it quite closely. I'm thinking the gyms are going to reopen again because I think there's a lot of, a lot of uh, pushback on that. Because um, like, I, I just really, that's what I need the most kind of thing. But everything else I don't really notice because I'm on, on my own anyway. I live in a cabin on my own. Like, yeah. I, uh, for the lockdown, it doesn't make much difference. Like, I'm not really seeing anyone anyway. I, all my closest friends are family think, are two yeah. hours away. So I'm not I'm on my just, own anyway. So anything I notice is the gyms closing. Everything else is the same as, as normal <laughs> for me. Honestly, <laughs> David, I think that us star seeds and like because we've been given um, a job to be on our own. To yeah, a, I think so. Um, those of us that have got really big jobs to do, like yours, it sounds massive to me. So let's go yeah. back a little bit because this program, I want to find out how did you discover that you were a messenger of light so shall we start from the beginning where were you born uh, yeah uh, i've got quite a big story to share so i'm trying to try and, I try and summarize and squeeze it in so i, I was born in 1980 in luton uh so when i came in so i'm like in, i'm on the uh, uh indigo and people like spiritual um that i'm a, basically a syrian arch, arch, archangel star seeds i'm like a blue ray master bridge builder that's and yeah. master download of master seeders so i'm kind of bringing download seeds and um i okay, kind of see into so the future i, I like I like like a visionary i see like like blueprints and downloads from the future technology to build fantastic technology and angelic to angelic downloads i guess so okay I so how how did you discover all of this because a lot of people are starting to realize it took me a long time to realize what my job was and yeah. you know that i am who i am because i'm different um so how did you actually discover this? Because um, how old were you when you were diagnosed with autism? Uh, well, I was, well, when I was younger, when I was, when I was four years old, I was diagnosed with dyspraxia, which is, okay, uh, it's like overlapping dyslexia, dyspraxia, autism, Asperger's, all part of the autistic spectrum. 
and this practice, like the clumsy child syndrome. But I, I, I promise speaking as a child, like I, I still struggle with communication a little bit now, but not as much. So I've had to work hard on it. Um, but I couldn't talk because I had a speech impediment and I mumbled and I was very introverted and shut down. And I had a speech therapist, and but they, 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 they kept it from me though, because I went to normal public school. My mum didn't tell me, but it's not their fault because there wasn't no acceptance then. Nobody understood what dyspraxia or autism was then. So I got a really hard childhood, to be honest with you. I got bullied a lot at school and I just didn't fit in. You know how we all are. Like, I'm really outcast and, yes. I, and I was just bullied for being different. Um, and then when I went to university at 18, I had a dyslexia test to try to get extra time in the exam and use a computer because I find it easier to type than to write because I have problems holding the pen um, and it gets, hurts my hand. And then I said, oh, you've got dyslexia, yes, but you've also got dyspraxia. I was like, what's dyspraxia? So I looked it up and I was like, oh, explain. And dyspraxia is very similar to autism. And then when I was 28, I got diagnosed with autism officially, or Asperger's it was. I think it was, um, yeah, to, that was quite a bit later on. So I kind of like a hybrid. I kind of got all three and OCD, ADHD, but they're all just labels. I say ADHD is attention dialed into higher dimensions and OCD obsessively, I don't know, obsessively, observing conscious details. That's, that's what I define OCD and ADHD as. Because I find autism is more of a gift. I used to say it's a curse, but I find it's a gift. And autism is here to teach people how to get out of the box while we be put into the box. And here to teach unconditional love and warn people about dangers of toxins and vaccines and things. Because um, okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure people realise that va vaccines don't cause autism, but autism is more of a spiritual gift to just old souls or angelic souls incarnated. Mm -hmm. But because it was super, super sensitive, we react more to the toxins in, in vaccine. So then we have the symptoms are come from the, from the vaccine, not doesn't actually cause autism. It just make, we have more of a reaction to it. So it looks like it causes autism, but it just triggers right. the autism. It's, it's more of a warning. So, and that's why I'm sensitive to the chlorine. I can't swim in chlorine and, and bleach and cleaning chemicals. It burns my eyes and nose. And I have, I'm so sensitive, like, um, like, like same, same with 5G, 4G, that I'm just like, I can't be around any kind of radiation. I'm like, we all are. <laughs> we yeah. all are. I've got all my crystals here. <laughs> protecting me Some guy yeah. <laughs> people don't understand do they oh my god no. I, I, I smell everything i've just got this new water filter and i can't drink it it's awful the chemicals are so strong anyway coming yeah. it, that's absolutely fascinating so uh. you would i agree what you said is incredible that you may vaccinate another child, maybe not now because the vaccinations have become much more aggressive. Let's not go into it. I don't want to go into yeah. it. Yeah. Let's <laughs> keep it on that vibration. But when you had them, um, mm. if, a, if you were very, very sensitive, as you said, you've come from somewhere mm. else, you're a light being, then you're, not go you're going to not be able to deal with it. It's going to affect you in some way. However, you have done something amazing You've been able to take this, and not everyone can. I mean, I'd say most um, people with autism and all these different conditions, they, they can't seem to negotiate and do what you're doing. And this is why I'm having you on here. Well, I have everyone on here, but I couldn't wait to interview you. Because Thank you. you created, anyway, you created something amazing, but how did you realize that you were here to do something special? How? Where, how can you take yourself from that child with autism yeah. and all these different conditions that was being bullied and treated as an not as an equal and, and looked mm -hmm. on and everything else to a level of where you suddenly woke up one day and thought, hang on a second, I'm here to do something different, to do something special, because that helps mm -hmm. other people and other kids that are being diagnosed to understand that they have got a job here for humanity so do you want yeah. to explain a little um, to me do you understand the question yeah yeah yes yeah. basically thank um, you i've got a very brief background like so then um i so said hard time in school um so i did i was social recluse so i just focused more on my academic career um, then I got A, a levels and then I went to university. And that's when I started coming out of my shell. Before then, I got I was very introverted and shut down because I couldn't talk. And when I did talk, I started then I got more attacked, more for that. I mean, my mum, you know, not able to speak properly. Um, but then university, it was the bullying stopped, and then I could come out of my shell because um, and I was around good teachers and made some good friends. And I found I was really gifted with, with computers, and I got a first class honors degree in 
computing business computing degree. And then my, my career took off and I worked for the big names, Nokia, Microsoft, HSBC, KPMG. I was like a top contractor in London. And that's my background. I was like 20 years experience building web, websites and I'm a .NET architect, like senior engineer. It's my, kind of my background trade. Um, but then what happened is um, in parallel with that, um, so, you know, that started helping my low self-esteem and, and, and depression and anxiety, which I suffered my whole life with, because it comes with the autism, plus the home life I had, plus my bullying. It's like I've, I've got quite a lot of damage done to me, a lot of trauma, basically. And I took a lot, like, I'm still healing from all of it. I'm, I'm getting there, but it's been a lot to, un, to unravel. Um, and then I, one day I, I, I still struggled with all this. And, and then I tried everything, nothing worked. And I was drugged up and was given uh, antidepressants, anti-anxiety tablets, sleeping tablets. Um, all these things and it, it just turns you to a zombie, just numbs you down and doesn't really heal you. It covers up the symptoms rather than addressing the root causes. And the root cause of autism is you need to ground, ground, ground and come into your body and anchor yourself into the planet. And that's what I've discovered yoga. I, I went, one day I went to the gym and I did the yoga class. I was the only man in the gym. I was like a toy boy, all these older women. They loved me and I was only like 20, oh, how old was I? 25, 26. <laughs> And I was only, and I, I used to go to the gym and just work out and do like weights and stuff. I just still do use the gym. But one day I just thought something inside me goes, try yoga. I was like, eh. and because of autism, I don't I don't care about what society thinks. I was like, a man doing autism, man doing yoga, uh, I'm already I'm already out of class anyway. So I don't care. I don't care what society thinks of me. That is one of the blessings of um being an outcast. You just don't you don't you don't conform to society. You become a rebel and you just don't like follow the the, 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 the dude's Sorry, David, dudes. Sorry, David, can I David, can Sorry. I just <laughs> there quickly this is amazing so yoga um i did you take any medication at all did you have yeah, that's a, yeah before that now? yeah that, that, I, I said i was I, I just going to doctors and all they gave me was uh, antidepressants and anti-anxiety tablets and sleeping tablets and and it just made me worse and and I was like, do that plus drinking alcohol, got so depressed, I was smoking a bit of weed. So I was a mess. You can imagine that. I was just like, I had this cocktail yeah. of like, like farms. I was like, a, I was a living organic pharmacy. And I was just like, oh, no. like, 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 I was just like, and I was like, no wonder I was a basket case. And it made me even more unstable. And I was just a complete wreck. And, and all it done is just wow. keep changing, changing my medication, which didn't work, it made me worse. And then okay. um, one day so we, I found yoga and I phased it out. I phased out yoga. all of it. And yeah. did you phase out all the medication after that? Yeah, medication, stop drinking, stop smoking. Oh and I just um God. I just turned my life around. And that was the that was a wow. turning point when I, I swapped um, all that shit with sorry, that rubbish with yoga, uh, meditation and mindfulness. And this book, I've got it here, I'm actually reading it again now. This Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now, if you can see yes. that. Yes. I recommend that. People with autism, if you're listening, <laughs> read this book. This book and yoga, meditation and mindfulness in nature and a good healthy diet, preferably vegan, is what you need because you're sensitive. So don't eat meat and don't eat, don't have caffeine, Actually, don't drink alcohol because it's not good. You've got autism and you're sensitive. It's not good for anyone. Like autism, it, autism is the same as everyone else. It's just, just like on a, on a stereo, the sensitivity dials just turned up a bit more. That's all it is. Everything's just turned up a bit more. But all these things help, like I just said, help everyone. But autism, it's even more important that you look after yourself and you have a really high, healthy and holistic high lifestyle. And that's basically it. And yoga is the most, of all those things, yoga, and for the yoga in this book are the two most important things, I would say. Power of now and yoga is what I would say. <laughs> and, nat and nature. <laughs> it's all important. But, um, David, this, okay, let's, let's just take a breath. Because yeah. <laughs> <it's stunning. laughs> this is stunning information. Um, now, all I can identify with is I was diagnosed with BPD, which has got a bit of everything in it, but right. it's a complex needs. And so with BPD, they medicate everything. I never took medication for anything. And like well done. <laughs> the answer is you've got to bring everything that's got to come into balance and you've got to know why you're here. You've got to release some stuff. I released um, trauma from the past. And that helped me. But with you, it was purely yoga, grounding yourself and the power of now that yeah, is changing your diet. So you're obviously very enlightened, you know, to be able to do that. You're obviously you're um, a, a teacher. You've come here to teach a lot of people that have been affected really, really badly. I know a lot mm. of, like, what is it? Nearly every single child has been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD or something. Or mm -hmm. 
respect because they're so as more and more sensitives have come to the planet. But let's move on from there. So we that is absolutely fascinating. So how old were you when you felt that you were going to create something in order to help other people? And um, did um, you teach yourself? I mean, some of yeah. people can seem to communicate like you. Um, I, I never used to I never so, used to be able to like that's the power of yoga. Like if people met me 10 years ago. I was way more autistic. You could tell. I couldn't. I couldn't have. A, I'd never been doing do an interview. I wouldn't. I, I always just shut myself away. And all I did was sit in front of the computer. I couldn't like interact with people, and I couldn't make eye contact, or I couldn't talk properly. Um, I still was very autistic, so that's why my IT career was, was fine. Because most people in IT are autistic or somebody on the spectrum, or a bit <laughs> social reclusive. Some, not everyone, but but generally, it's kind of a, a little. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I, I, but I, I kind of like say I'm like a hybrid. I'm half hippie, half um, half geek, half hippie, half geek. I'd say like uh, I'm a bit of both. That's uh, why I'm wearing my 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 tie dye. Oh, glass and breeze. It's got glass be tall in the back as well. So that's what I wear all the time. My hoodie. Your batik. I love your batik. That's gorgeous. Can yeah, I-, I wear this all the time. But it's, my mum. Mum tries to wash it when I lift up my mum when I come back from Bali, and and she. I, I, it's part of me. It's like it's like it's, like it's grown on me. I, I never. She never, can never wash it. I never wash it because I do wash it occasionally. I, I do have hygiene, <laughs> <laughs> but okay. but but it's kind of like it's, it's hard to take it off because it's so it's got so comfortable and warm. The hoodie. It's well. beautiful. You've got all the chakras, and of course you're. So, Thing is yeah. that so, so your message is very very <laughs> your Sorry. message is you're very protected here i've got the violet flame <laughs> yeah. uh, all the angels <laughs> yes. and are protecting moving on tv only certain people could come on there <laughs> oh, that's good that's nice to know yeah um, oh, oh yeah so your question was like how does create yoga for autism it's kind of like so basically i um i, I kind of uh Yes, discovered that journey and that this is like uh, in my mid mid twenties, late twenties, started in yoga and started meditating and reading the power of now and practicing mindfulness and sit like I could told you, I, I just sat in park benches just meditating in nature and emptying my mind and just focusing on the tree and a flower and just coming one with it and just feeling this inner essence and just connecting with it. And then the sea I love as well, how I just look at the sea and look at my thoughts empty across the sea and empty everything out of there. So and then I thought one day, I, 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 I never knew anyone else with autism. It was just me. I lived on my own. I, I'm not on my own, but I kind of didn't really meet anyone like me other than IT. And I thought, I've got to share this with the world. So then in, in 12, 12, 12, I had my awakening in Glastonbury, <laughs> which I love this, in Avalon, the heart shack of Gaia. And then um, I created Yoga for Autism in January 2013, just after my awakening, to, to share what I discovered. Um, and then... <laughs> And then sorry, the honest, David, it's been a very sorry, hard journey since then. Say, sorry, David. <laughs> when you say you're awakening, yeah, everybody has a, an awakening, like a spiritual. I know when mine was exactly. Can you yeah. can you actually say? Because again, if someone is watching this and they think, um, "Oh, I wonder what my awakening." Oh, you know, they'll realize what's really going on. That's an awakening. Mm. So, what would you say was that pivotal moment? Your awakening. Um, it happened like two stages, probably. Like the first stage was when I, I discovered probably yoga, and meditation, and mindfulness, and that was back in like 2009, 2010, probably. So when I was like 29, 30, um, and then like then the second stage, the big one was I said 12, 12, 12 in, in Glastonbury, which is like Avalon, the heart shack of Gaia. Um, I went to like because I started going to these ceremonies like yoga med- yoga classes and meditation classes and and I got invited to do ceremonies. I started hooking into the spiritual tribe in London because I, I back then I was, in, I was in the southwest in Plymouth from Cornwall and Devon. I kind of went to university down in um, Plymouth. So I only came back to London in 2012, um, about July 2012. And then, and then I went to this ceremony. I, I went the 12, 12, 12 ceremony. I had no idea about the 21, 12, 12, and awakening and ascension. Or, I knew nothing about that area or what was going on in the world. I just knew about yoga, meditation, and mindfulness practices for about two, two, three years. And then, and then I went to this thing, and I did the ceremonies, and people come up to me and going, "You're Palladian, no, you're Syrian." And, and as the listeners come up to you, send them love and light, and I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like, these guys are crazy." <laughs> and I was just like. 
<laughs> all this stuff. And I started talking to them in language. I just sat there listening. My mind was going, oh my God. But my heart and soul was going, but something feels true. It feels, feels real. So I always had an open mind. So like I went back home and I started researching on YouTube, all these different like Palladians and lizards and all this stuff. And I was like, oh my God. And, and back then I was smoking a lot of weed as well, bear in mind. I don't anymore, but I was kind of like, and I was just like, it's just like something out of Matrix in Neo. I was like, sat on a computer to four in the morning, I fall asleep on the keyboard and the sun would come up and the milk floats would come down the floor, and the birds start treating. And then I, uh, I'd go to bed and I'd wake up in the morning going, oh, I was like, did I just dream that? And I'd go back to the computer and I was like, oh, shit. Shit, no, I didn't. I look at the YouTube history, and you know how YouTube goes recommending video. I just get playing video of the video of the video. I was I was gripped. I couldn't stop watching. I was like, what? And David Icke and the Earth is hollow and the reptilians and all these other crazy stuff. And I was just like, what the hell? This world is ah, uh, it's just. And I thought this is crazy. And I, was, I and I but somehow my mind is going mental. But for a few days, for a week, you know how it is. And I was just like, this is insane. But I integrated it pretty quickly. I got I, I don't know to focus my soul, like I said. Like my soul was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, mission begins. And it's like, and then I went to 21, 12, 12. And I was like, I, and I'm always late for everything. Like, so I was late for this interview. And I'm, I'm late for my own funeral. I'm, I'm just always late. And I struggle with time because of the autism and organization. We're not used to time in the high dimensions. So I'm not, I, I'm not, I struggle with 3D life. And I, and, and I thought I was late for the ascension. <laughs> No, Ascension was 21, 12, 12. I thought everyone was preparing for this big end of, end of the Mayan calendar. And I went to this big, um, ceremony in, in Avebury and um, stone so the first one was in Glastonbury the next one was in Avebury with the stones the stones in Avebury a bit better like Stonehenge um and I went there and I, I and I thought oh great so 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 everyone else has been like um had uh, all this time to prepare like like preparing for this for, for like 10 um like the whole life and I had like one week one week to prepare for this <coughs> And then, so then I got there, and then, yes, I got there, and then, then I found out it was all okay, like, you know, it's all divine timing, like, like that was all meant to be. But I thought I missed it. I thought, like, I was meant to wake up a couple earlier, uh, but it wasn't. I was, I was meant to wake up at last minute. So I, I had, like, one week, yeah, it was a crazy week, from 12, 12, 12 to 21, 12, 12. And, mm -hmm. then, and I, was, like I, said, I was smoking a lot of weed as well. That, that, that was some crazy week for me. I was like, I don't know if I'm dreaming. <laughs> Am I smoking too much? Am I hallucinating? No, that's that's what I started cutting back <laughs> on the smoking. I was like, oh, this stuff, this is mental. That was the, that was the, um, the dates that I decided. Everybody was talking about the end of the world. They said, yeah. it's going to end in 2012. So I made a decision to do my biggest project ever to open 2013. At the end of 2012, I released a children's peace film with a thousand kids singing for peace. Because I was determined then, even though I knew nothing about what's ruling the world and what's trying to destroy us, I knew that I was going to put out a really positive message. I was going to put out opposite of what they were pushing us to believe that we were all going to die when it's the end 30, yeah. 31st of December 2012 boom and I thought well I'm releasing the biggest song for peace ever <laughs> and I did and you had your massive awakening okay so that's that shows the people when you suddenly it's like you're on a different vibration it's mm -hmm. like you know for years and years and years David I used to sit there listening to Jill Edwards and Wayne Dyer and closing my eyes and sending myself all over the place visualizing. And I just loved it so much. I love <laughs> Tony Robbins because uh, you and I were very similar. We were very yeah. creative and we love all of that floating around. But when it comes to the down to earth, grounding, money, grants, everything, that we struggle a little bit more. I'm going to yeah. give you some more information after this because um, they're starting to help people like us now. You know, there's a lot Great. of help out there. There's money and there's help. But anyway, coming back to what we were, so you had your massive awakening. Now, where did Y4A come from? Can you tell us, first of all, what does it mean? Oh, yeah. Does it's just, just, um... a it's just, just a, a yoga for autism. So it's a website, it's yogaforautism.com. So oh. I just thought 
it does what it says in a tin kind of thing. <laughs> well, it's quite self-explanatory. Uh, well, autism. Uh, yeah. Thank you uh, for sorry. explaining that. Yeah, I, I had two projects and pe people like, um, I won't go, we'll talk about the, other, the technology a bit later on, but I had like, other projects, our world and, and other things. And, and uh, when I try to explain the two different projects, people get lost with the technology side of stuff. And But yoga for autism, people, I don't know how to explain it. I go, what's your other company? Yoga for autism. Go, oh, right. I said, what's that do? Um, I help autism with yoga <laughs> funny enough <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it's like that, that's a lot easier to explain to people so, so, so i started with that project and i focused on that for the first few years um and then okay yeah, and, and, then, so, and then and then and then i moved on to, to technology after so but yeah. funny because funny enough our, our our paths didn't actually cross <laughs> But I, I had a very strong connection to someone who knew you very well, Helen, Helen uh, Greenway. And it's oh, funny because yeah. she knew you very And that's how we came, our paths crossed years ago without realizing it. And then yeah. it's you, the same person. So total synchronicity. Okay, so you've got that uh, yoga for autism. But, but then you started to talk about this new light internet. Oh right, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that, that. which is what is that, and 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 how is that going to be beneficial uh, for the human race, um, and how does that connect all the dots? Um, yeah, I tried to like, give a quick summary, like, um, and then I talk about how, how it all kind of connects, because all my projects are all interconnected, all deeply integrated, all part of the same master plan. Like the, the no, I'm basically unity consciousness. I express unity consciousness within the technical sphere and my projects. So, um, and that's where we come from, because we come from like the oneness kind of thing, from the high angelic realm when we came here, we're used to being in pure unity consciousness. Why I struggled with being a body and being separate. Um, uh, but basically the, the, this, this our world, yeah, so I, I, it's called ourworldthegame.com, but it's more than a game, it's, it's like a platform and a, like a training, a, a, basically it's an ascension training platform to teach people how to um, uh, look after themselves and come together as a, a humanity and look after the planet and animals and to teach the kids and people the right life lessons to create a better world. Rather than everything being separate, it's about teach, coming together and working together. And you basically you gain karma for doing good deeds, like picking up litter, helping people, and you lose karma for dropping litter and being selfish. You know, you can play it however you want. Um, wow, sorry, it's, you, it's a game. It's more than that. It's hard to explain. It's because it's it's um, yeah. It's like different parts of it. It's it's it's, it's the internet. It's the operating system. It's a game. It's a platform. It's a social network. It's it's something you've never seen before because it's everything integrated. Imagine everything in the world all integrated for one uni unified interface. Um, have you watched a film called Ready Player One? That's the closest thing to explain to it. Ready Player Sorry? One isn't. It's a What's film it called, called um, uh, Ready Player One by um. Mm. Uh, Steven Spielberg, it's a really good film. You watch Ready Player One, there's a thing called the, the Oasis in there. And the Oasis is the closest thing to what I'm building. That, that, that is my vision. And that film was downloaded, like I downloaded. That film isn't sci-fi, it's a prophecy of what I'm building. I'm not joking. This guy wrote a book called, called Ready Player One. And it's, it's a top sci-fi novel. And when I used to explain my project, you know, half people are lose, but the people that didn't lose, they always said, oh, was you inspired by Ready Player One? I was like, no, what's that? I never read it. And I started read it yeah. like um, years later. And it's like yeah. my book. I mean, it's my, it's talking, it's, it was yeah. what I was downloading. My visions was in, he, he saw the yeah. same thing. And then, yeah. and, 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 and I talked mm -hmm. about some of the autism who grew up in the eighties, who loved playing retro 80 games, loved eighties music, got bullied a lot at school, a social recluse, loved um, um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons and um, had guitar lessons as a kid. Love like retro gaming and described my life like it was like me. And then one day he come a pro, become a programmer and he created a revolutionary VR game platform that that that, that basically took, took took the world by storm. And then kind of everything else come obsolete. And every, it's one central platform. And that's what I'm building. And like it was mental. Like universe is divinely orchestrated. Like it, it, sometimes people write sci-fi books and it's really not sci-fi. It's science preview because sci-fi is actually pre what's to come. But Sometimes the more generic the, the sci-fi stuff, but this one, this book, it was very, very specific, and it was about a guy, a guy called James Halliday, and and I would say he's like he's like my my digital twin, my my parallel parallel David Ellums in another parallel universe. I would, I would call James Halliday, and he created this um 
this thing called Oasis, but it was in a dystopia future when the world has got, gone to, you know, like now, but imagine now in 10 years time, if light didn't win, when the whole world is just completely like, like dark right. and over, overcrowded and, and everyone escapes into VR to get away from the, the shitty life. They're going to want to live in VR land. That's what the Ready Player One storyline is. But what I'm creating is like the utopia version of it. Rather than using VR and games to um, escape reality, it's about using it to, to uplift humanity and heal the planet and, 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 and learn how to live together and eventually send and, and train you how, how to look after ourselves. And so it's like That's the amazing. flip side. Uh, so I'm not the parallel, I also have a parallel, parallel universe version, if that makes sense. Wow, let me stop you there because when you say you're building it now, this head doesn't is not technological. I mean, I yes, I can edit programs and I can study stuff on YouTube, but when it comes to explaining to me how electricity works, or how how do you build this? When you say I'm building it, can what do you actually do? What what are you magic? <laughs> uh, As I say, like, my head doesn't get this. Um, yeah, just like well, my, so my background is um, a .NET C sharp developer. That's like a, a programming language and technology, which is like it's like a web development, but it's used for everything: web, web websites, apps, games. Um, it's very popular now. It's, it's in like a lot of businesses use it. Like probably Java and .NET are two of the most popular languages. Um, so, and it's a thing called um, a game engine called um, Unity. And that's very popular as well. And 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 the clues in the title, Unity. That's why I knew I, when I saw that 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 was what I'm going to build my game in because Unity. All because my game's all about creating Unity, <laughs> and a game engine is called Unity. So I was like, yeah, that's the one I'm going to use. That was divinely planned. So and 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 the program language it uses is the one I'm 20 years experience in. So the back end code for Unity is C sharp. And that's what I've, I'm, I'm an wow. expert in. Okay, so are that, you? That, that, that's all planned. That's planned. Are you using light like language? Sorry, are you using light like language oh, in there? Yeah. Ah, thanks. Good question. I never, I never talk about that part. I forget about that bit. Um, like yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it's imbued with angelic light codes as well, and and um and the center masters are working for me with alchemy energy. So when you're playing the game, it actually upgrades your DNA and upgrades your consciousness. It, it actually it's anti, I call it anti brainwashing technology. All the damage that's been done rewiring our brain and DNA. This game reverses it. It's 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 an antidote. It's the antidote to um, all the brainwashing. Basically, it, it rewrites your consciousness and DNA. It's not only educating you on a free level. It's working more. It's multi dimensional. We multi dimensional. Um, programming and multi-dimensional uh, uh, energy that comes through it. It's mental. I, I'm just a channel. It's not. It's not coming from me. I'm just. A, I'm just yeah. an angel incarnated, and I'm just. Yeah. I'm just following orders. I'm just following like, like you, all of us. I'm just. I'm just building what they tell me to build. Like, build this. Build this. Okay. Okay. And then they just do the, the universe and the angels and the rest do the magic. I'm just like the front man. We're, we're channels <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah. It was explained to me. Mind blowing. That we we are avatars in a yes. game. We're yes. We're angels or alien exactly. avatars, and I come from Aquarius. In the game, <laughs> that's what our world is. Our world is fractal. It's holonic fractal because it, we're creating the game inside a game. We're inside the polarity integration game, and and David Ellen's avatar is creating. Uh, another our digital terrain avatar system inside it because and and that's how the universe works everything's fractal everything's contained inside itself everything's a copy okay. of each other so we're, we're so, it's like it's like god training platform it's like a god like 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 recreating reality inside the matrix it's like, it's like creating and then and this game i'll go i'll, I'll, go, um, I'll go a little bit into it but basically it's got a thing called infinite reality ir so it's, it's got VR, virtual reality, you've got augmented reality, AR, and what comes off of that is a thing called IR, which I invented, infinite reality. And that's about merging virtual and reality. So they become one. So for example, many few examples is say like um, uh, in the game, you, you, uh, in real life, you go out and you buy a pret salad, say, and a green juice yeah, for lunch. And then you scan that into the game and your avatar in the game drinks the green juice, it's plus 10 health, plus 100 speed, um, and, and a salad, or if you go to McDonald's and your, your, your avatar will eat the bu a burger and you get fat, and then you can't run as long in the game and you get unhealthy. So it's realistic. It's a simulation. It's a simulation. It's about well. the mind as well. If your yeah. avatar is drinking green juices and having vitamins and minerals and exercising, then you will feel better. Yeah. 
it's, it's two ways. Yeah. It's two oh, ways. It's so, so, so it mirrors each other. Yeah, so, 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 so whatever happens in, in the game happens in real life, and what happens in real life happens in the game. It's a, it's a two way mirror. It's, so it's not just a game, it's a real time simulation platform. It's hard to explain it. Nothing's like it. It doesn't exist. This is like 20, 30 years advanced technology. This is galactic, angelic technology. This is, from the, this is from millions of years in the future I'm downloading this from. So you can imagine how advanced this technology is. It's nothing. Google, Facebook, and Apple, <laughs> they're nothing. They can't, they can't even, they can't even imagine this. They can't even think about this, let alone build it. Trust me. So and that's why it's going to make an obsolete. In a nice way, you're Bill Gates of the star seeds and you're the, the Bill Gates of the awakening and the ascension. Yeah. In a nice I, way. I, the yeah. nice, I don't, not, 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 a not the other way. Not, not the other stuff we won't talk about. He was the a good people. person. Yeah. You and so you're very, so, okay. So here's a good question, David. You, you're a genius. You, obviously. Well, yeah, universe. But, I always say the universe is a genius. I'm just a channel. But, so yeah. you, how have you managed to? Have you been targeted? Because a lot of people, a lot of brains, like creative brains, are very easy to target. If you know what I mean. Do yeah, I, I, I had a lot. I, I've had a lot of, a lot of um. A lot of uh, we, me, and my friend Chris, because I'm like Superman. Uh, so I'm like archetype of Superman, and my friend Chris, he's like Iron Man, and there's a few other superheroes for the Avengers and Justice League that we're building, and we've been very, very interfered with, to say, and um, hexes, curses, psychic attack. Yeah, there's been all sorts of crazy stuff, phone calls, uh, sending weird. Uh, my my computer's been hacked, and um, uh, uh, I've been. Oh God, my computer crashes all the time. Every type of way that can be interfered, I've been interfered with, and my relationships, my parent, um, mind control. Um, yeah, I don't get too far into it, but but that's what makes me stronger and stronger, and that's why I keep feeling I'm behind schedule because I've been trying to get funding and build this since 2013 or 2011. I started, and I still haven't got funding or team. So this is another shout out again. If anyone wants to help, um. Uh, donate. I've got a GoFundMe page, and also I'm about to launch a Kickstarter campaign. I've been told guide to do that, um, and looking for C Sharp and and, and um, U Unity developers. Um, if anyone's anyone's out there who wants to help build this, it'd be great because um, yeah. I've struggled to find funding, and in eight years I still haven't got any help support for this. So, so that's because I know the, it's interference. But. The way I see it, David, is um, everything is about keeping people. The, the government now, everything they're doing, particularly, you know, the lottery and funding like that, they want to pee, pee, keep people calm. They want to have, now a game already will focus the mind. Think about it. You have to think like them, don't you? They're looking for people that can come up with things that are going to help people focus their minds. And But this is such a positive game compared to all the violent games and video games, exactly. all that stuff that doesn't, you know, okay, it does focus the mind, but it takes people not in the, the, the direction you are. I mean, what you're talking about here is it's a whole education system of mindfulness, nutrition. Um, it's going to help so many people whose heads are not able to stay calm and focused. Now, not only that, but you pulled yourself out of everything, depression, alcoholism. You're being yeah. honest here. And I think one of the things the lottery are doing now, which I'll talk to you about another time, is they're providing people to fill in the forms. So you can actually get someone for a whole day now, believe it or not. The lottery will pay them. They give you yeah. someone. And you together decide what grant to go for, and really? they help you. They actually do the grant. So you know some Surprise. of the linings <laughs> of this awakening, uh, of this lockdown, is that people are start. They have no choice but to give money to people that are going to help human beings to be able to negotiate whatever is is happening, whatever might be happening, whatever may happen. So you've got a better chance now of yeah. money from these people than you had before. 
Yeah, because I've, I've yeah. basically I've done everything. I've done investors. I've done crowdfunding. I've done grants. I've, I've done book lottery. I've done comic relief. I've done it all. Deny, 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 deny. For yoga portism and our world, I've been trying to get funding, and and it's been I'm honest. Yeah. It's for days I want to give up, you know, but my heart will never let me. My mind is like, why did I give up my five hundred pound a day job I used to make? I used to make ten grand a month, and now I live in poverty. Like no, I, I'm living benefits, but, but my heart and soul will never let me quit. So like, um, I won't tell you the whole thing, but. Um, um, but I got targeted my yoga for autism company they tried to take it from me um, uh, so I took my clients I took my business and so I had to shelf that like it's still going but I had to then focus on the technology because the money is in technology so I started building the game but unfortunately yoga for autism I hadn't had time to carry on with but that's going to be rebooted that's why faith reborn that you're asking about before and and um, just to quickly uh, the big thing I really want to say was um, I'm about to launch this thing called the Justice League Academy and your second chance and that's basically a training course for like everyone. Originally it was for autistic people like myself, but it's for everyone now, for kids on the streets, homeless, unemployed, people in prison, all disadvantaged people and everyone. And now especially this- So this what's both... that called, David? Your second chance? Yeah, it's gonna be your second chance dot ICU. And that's, that's like ICU and, and, uh, and the Justice League Academy. The Justice League Academy is more for kids, and, and adults who are into comic books and like me who like superheroes, but some people, your second chance might resonate more. So I've got two okay. flavors of the same thing. Um, and that's, that's about like- Sorry, can I, so that I can stop you there because that can help a lot of people. So- Yes, especially now with the lockdown, that's what I was thinking. Chance, yeah. yeah. So yeah. say you've got a dream, like you've got a big dream, they can go into your second chance and they can get what, mentoring, money, how does it work? Uh, uh, yeah, eventually, but but to start off with because um, just starting out, it, the main thing of it was to teach them how to program. I teach them like um, people interested in how to make apps and games. I can give them all free training, um, and then and it's open to everyone. No previous skills, experience required. It's free, and then and then they they, they give them jobs to help build our world, to build this amazing technology. So I need that's it's a win 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 then. So I I can give them free training and jobs. And, wow. and most most of the training courses, you, you, the barrier entry is so high. You need previous skills, experience. You need money, and you work. And when you, when you get in, you work on dummy application that you, no one ever sees. You. you work all this time and you throw it away. What better way is to build real life? I trust people. I, I want to help them believe in themselves again. So I, I want them to, to work on real life applications and build apps and games that are going to make the world a better place and build our world and build all these apps, mindfulness apps um, that all plug into it. So it can build stuff that's going to really help. So from day one. You can start earning money and make and start writing code to start helping people and and, and awesome. as well as the pro nope. yeah so I, and, and and the program so the program's also got mixing with uh, mindfulness meditation yoga and healthy nutrition so it teaches them how a whole holistic balanced lifestyle because just programming it's not healthy you need to balance it with the yoga meditation and going to prove that people are more productive and more efficient at learning and working when you mix the, the programming with yoga meditation and mindfulness so that's my so whole. How so how far have you got, David? How far are you? How far have you got now? With you've got a website. Um. Yeah. Well, well actually, have you got? at a minute, at a minute for, for the training, you go on ourworldthegame.com or um, nextgensoftware.co.uk. The details are on there, and there's a PDF you can download of those websites. And there's one for adults and one for junior, and juniors for kids like in schools and stuff. And especially now. Uh, all the schools are closing. It's perfect, perfect timing. The universe yeah. again planned this. Do you know what? I downloaded it all since 2013. All I told you, I've had all this in my head since 2013, but I didn't have the time to build, make it all. But it wasn't for then, it's for now. I realized seven years was to prepare. Seven years I've been preparing, building, developing, and doing my inner work. And now 2020 is when it, I unleash it on the world. 2020 is when the world needs it. Because I'm ahead of my time. I'm a man of tomorrow, man of steel. Yeah, yeah. Man is. I'm from the future. Yola. So I was ahead of my time. So I had to wait patiently for seven years for the world to catch up. And now the world is going to be crying out for what I'm offering. Because the slogan mm -hmm. for our world is together we can create a better world. So they want to be part of that. Yoga forwardism, people always need that. And the training, your second chance. Yeah. And, and the final thing is the Global Healing Network. So um, I can heal... I've got technology that can heal people for distance healing. You know, got remote healing. Uh, I got a thing. I got a thing. You gain karma for, for healing people. So this whole COVID craziness. You don't need to go get a vaccine or go to hospital. You just go on a um, website and you can get free healing, and people can heal um, you. 
that's another one of my things I had in my head from 2013. But it, it's all for now. So and now look your... at the world. I'm like, now now is the time to, to bring it into the world. So hopefully someone out there is listening. Help me help you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, the whole <laughs> course is we're all working together, David. Um, <laughs> TV is here for everyone. I'm here to bring you all together. I'm the media for the light workers. That's how I see it. I'm the media for light workers and for Starseed for all of us in order because you need the media. You need some because yeah. there's no one's going to put you on anywhere else because they don't want to know. They don't want to know that you could go out there and tell all these people with autism that you don't need medication. They don't want that and they don't. Yeah. Either, that I can go out there and say you don't need medication for anything. It's all inside. Yet, as you say, we're miles in front of everyone. We come from the future. And people yeah. laughed of us, at us and made fun of us. But we are learning now how to use our talents. And as I say, I'm the media. I'm, I'm, I'm the media and entertainment. And that's my job. Your job is is more tech, technological, and we and we come together and we work together. And there's loads of people out there. This is why I'm asking you. Um, star seeds, people like us, have struggled so much. No one wanted us, and no one gave us opportunities. There's people yes. creating <laughs> bionic beds in order to counteract 5G. There's people that are, are creating their own electricity system. When I call them people, you know, people is just a 3D thing that we are. So basically everything that you're bringing here onto Moving On TV is going to benefit a lot of people. So we all work together. So how do people do that? Say, okay, you've got someone similar to yourself who's got a dream but they like you they don't have the money like me they don't <laughs> so we're figuring out now how to get what we need or how to get sponsorship so there is another thing which you can now go on i am i don't know if you're on universal credit or anything but they are providing a whole they're providing me with a whole year of mentorship in order to move on with um my, my company, my production company that runs all of this. So as you said, what you need, what we need, all of us is some kind of database. Do you have a database where it specifies where you can go, where, where people like yourself can go that are more technological uh, or you got, I'm kind of drawing on the creative I'm looking at the creative from my experience, if you're a creative, but your technological side, and there is a huge specter of star seeds like that are out there that can't do what, what you're doing. They have the same talents and the same creativity, but it's always what's been holding them back is the money again. So what I'm asking here is how can you all do it together is is why for um, why yoga for autism and the website able to connect you all together in some way? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. The, the best way is um, uh, I have to give you some, some links after this. Basically, this thing called the, the Our World Tribe. I got I got a uh, um, Telegram group and also a thing on on a thing called uh, D Discord, like a Discord game server. Um, I've got two two groups like on those platforms. Right. I've I, I got Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn as well, but but I don't. They're dying. That that that's part of the, the problem. So I don't talk about. It. So, so uh, Telegram and Discord are the best are the best ways to um, reach out. It's a thing called Our World the Game. Um, I'll, so if you go on ourworldagame.com website and then you go to the bottom, there's some links and you see that there's a uh, um, Telegram. Uh, link at the bottom and then we, we Sorry, go what's, there. what's the website uh, on, on the, the, the bottom of the website ourworldagame.com you scroll I down to the bottom sorry can uh, you our, uh, uh, is this our world the, the game our .com? World. yeah the game, the game. that's yours yeah dot, dot com 
That's probably the best way. Rwellthegame.com. Okay. Anything so people can go on there and connect to you, is that right? Um, yeah, but then you, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a thing called um, um, Telegram, a, a, a Telegram link. And if you click on that, then, then you can join the, the Telegram group and then and then you can talk to me. Also, you can email me as well. I give my email address, so david at nextgensoftware.co.uk. That's another way. Okay, you'll give that to me and I'll put yeah. it. The, um, a link, yeah, put in a link. I think, I think I'll give you the links there. after. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the links after. So I think I'll give you the link to Telegram and my email is probably the best way. There's two okay. Ways. Okay. Um, and then like, yeah, and, and, that, and, that, and that's where Wi-Fi Reborn is because I'm, I'm going to reboot Wi-Fi with this training course because originally it was created for autistic people such as myself. So I'm going to um, create create this, tra this training course is how I'm going to reboot it because that's the thing I've got like, I've got thousands of people like on, on a database um, of, of autistic people I've built up over the seven years doing I went to uh, autistic shows um, and, and teaching in, in, and doing public talking in shows and in schools and in colleges care homes and advertising in autistic magazines and, and yoga magazines and on yoga show I went to and there's videos on the website um, of me doing my talk, my public talking, so people can check out my videos. I talk about my bit like I talked about today, but more detail about the autistic side of things. Um, a presentation hey. I give, um, and that's why I've got loads and loads of um, email addresses and people signed up. I've got yoga teachers and I've got clients. And one big thing that's where it came from because one big thing was helping yoga was just stage one. Stage two was that everyone had a negative vibe all the time talking about the negative side of autism and all that I heard was oh he'll he had to be medicated went, we're going to get a job all oh, negative 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 and I was like no and I was like positive I was like no you can get off the drugs you do yoga come with me I'll teach you how to program I'll give you a job that's how it started off with it. and I thought wow this is big because I saw the light in the eyes of the parents going oh my kid isn't going to be like unemployed his whole life and I was like no yes. and I, I want to mentor I want to mentor them and then I thought let's make it bigger and then expand into the unemployed the homeless Kids in the streets and um, drug addiction. Can, can I stop? Sorry, David, this is incredible. So, you don't, yes, that's right. you know, again, autism, ADD, ADHD, they're just labels, aren't they? The yeah. labels for sensitive people that have been given a diagnosis, that have been affected either by pollution, vaccination, or whatever, or their job was to come here with a different type of mindset because they're star seeds and aliens, as we said. <sighs> So yeah. does that mean that if someone comes to and wants to work with you or get some support and understand and you know from you what you're doing or as I say work with you, do they have to have a label, or could they no. struggle with the no, or anything? I, I just make it open like, like my focus to have all disadvantaged people, but I want to help everyone. And and this is why the universe has done this now. Why? It's like my time to shine finally because I've been really I've gone for like you said you know gone for a really dark dark struggle forty years basically on this planet it's been mm. I haven't I've had very small small breathers basically of where things have been like not ridiculously challenging <laughs> it's just been like climbing a not a mountain climbing a vertical wall of spikes and being I don't know shot at at the same time um, but basically now like it's time to bring it into the world because the, 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 this is like um, like my Superman journey, basically, my Superman hero journey. And, and this is where I now finally can, now is the perfect timing. There's the lockdowns and people at home, unemployed going up, kids are going to be homeschooled. This is exactly the perfect time when people are going to want to join these training courses and, and not only just like get money and help help build something, uh, it's also helped build a better world like, and help build our world together because it's a massive, this project is more most ambitious project the world's ever seen. When you watch the film Ready Player One, you'll see it's way bigger than, People go, oh, is it a new Facebook? Is it? No, it's bigger than everything you've seen. It's bigger than all the current big tech combined. And imagine all that combined in something that's for the light of the world. That's how big, powerful it is. It's the antidote to big tech. It's like the, it's like the nemesis. And that's why, like you said, I've been um, hindered a lot, let's say, <laughs> and yes. challenged a lot. Um, okay. And also why I've been delayed, because it wasn't safe yet. It wasn't time. <coughs> if I didn't burn out in 2013, um, <coughs> um, it, it would have been too early and I, I would have been, um, I don't know, <coughs> um, probably been right. in danger. Yeah, I think I need to drink. Okay, so David, we're gonna, <coughs> you all right? We're going to, yeah. 
to get new water. We're going to end the first part there. Okay. Is there anything yeah. you want to say before we close the first part? And then the next interview, part two, will be more about the training. And even if people want to contact you and ask you questions, we'll put your email and, and uh, maybe they can ask you things they may want to ask about their own development or, or how to get more training. So we'll talk about the training more on the next interview. And we'll talk about also going out and getting support, how to do that and what it is you need, et cetera, et cetera. So is there anything else you want to say before we close this first part of the interview? Um, yeah, that's, that, that sounds great. Uh, and I just want to say, um, Everyone out there listening, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> well, a better world is coming, and everything is proceeding as planned. It might seem crazy in the outside, but but really, I think um, if you're like if you believe in God or don't believe in God, but there is a divine divine hand at hand behind the scenes. You might not see it, and the light is winning. It's really one in high dimensions, and yeah. these projects are now coming through. I'm just one part of a massive network, like Lauren and all of us of light workers, and I've got a massive amount of of people building this new technology with me. And, and now we're bringing the training course in and I just want to end this by saying the whole point I created this thing is that I believe in all of you. I want, I believe in you and I believe in you will deserve a second chance and I want to help you all find your gift for the world. Everyone's got a gift and I just wanted to make, empower you yeah. to, to be the best person you can be and together we can create a better world. So like, don't give up hope and yeah, exactly. we're going to do it. We're exactly. winning. We're winning. And I just got to stick all together. Us. That's it. We've all got a similar dream. We're all here for humanity. That's what gets us up in the morning. We believe in you, every single one of you. And, and if you can see what David has got past <laughs> in order yeah. to do what he's doing, there is no excuse for anybody to not be able to get out there, grab their life, grab their dreams, and live their dreams, regardless of the 3D issues that we've all been given. I know people are struggling with all sorts of, but guess what? The government know that they created this and they have to give you support. So we're gonna find out in the next program, what support is there for people like David and people like myself and anybody else who's watching this, because the whole point of doing this is in order to show you that you too can go out and create your dream. So I'm going to end that there. Please subscribe, share and like, enjoy Moving On TV. And at some point, I think I'll get David on because he's so brilliant um, at speaking. We'll get you onto a live stream where you can bring your friends on and we can bring people on. You can talk to them, ask questions on the chat. And hopefully we're going to, you know, grow beautiful new world together. So take care, everyone. Love you lots. And I will put David's email down below. But contact me, moving on TV1 at gmail.com if you want to come on here as well. Express your dream and we all do it together. Love you lots, guys. Love, love you all. <laughs>